All right, shot one. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, work our Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great wisdom, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the uh, Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, shout out to your Akim out there. And this is another quick sit down lesson on this March 9th, 2022, on this um, Wednesday morning. And. The title of this uh, sit-down lesson is going to be More Increase of Wars and Rumors of Wars. And this is a news article right here. It's called OutlookIndia.com. Uh, and this is uh, recently. And the highlight of this news article, and it reads... Iran vows revenge for two uh, officers killed by Israeli, I mean by Israel in Syria. The foreign minister website quoted minister spokesperson Saidi uh, Khatsabati, if I pronounce his name right, Salakia, as saying revenge for the Monday strike will definitely be taken. It says, Salakia. Uh, <coughs> it says, Iran uh, foreign minister strongly condemned on Wednesday the, uh, the killing of two Iranian Revolutionary Guard officers in an Israeli missile attack on the Syrian capital. The foreign minister website quoted minister spokesperson Saidi uh, Kai Tobazidi as saying revenge for the Monday strike will be definitely be taken. The guard in a statement late Tuesday identified the two dead men as uh colonels uh Eason Carbala Paul and Martiza Sad It said in the same statement that Israel will pay for his crimes. It says hundreds of Iranian forces have died in the combat in the Islamic State group in Syria and Iraq. Iran said its forces there are only advisors. The uh, with PTI inputs. So yeah, man, that's an increase of uh, you know the nations arise against nations and the kingdom against kingdoms as we start to see that you know. You're starting to see more of an increase in the last days of these uh, nations constantly continue going at each other, you know, taking shots at one another, you know, just like that current situation with the Russian Ukraine, you know, that's a nation's rise against nation. Then the uh, over there in Yemen as well, too, because you got the back Houthi rebels was allies with Iran. And then you got the Saudi coalition, and then you got the uh, United States ally back with Saudi Arabia using airstrikes at each other. And then you got the uh, situation in Syria between the uh, Syrian border and over in Israel as well, too. You got the Israelis striking the Syrian government, I mean, the Syrian government and the uh, rebel groups over there as well, too, you know. And you have like Russian fire jets be uh, flying past through that doing uh, rocket missiles because I believe uh, Russia is allies with Syria as well too, I believe. So, you know, as far as like the Israelis and uh, Iran, you know, they still got that animosity towards one another. Just like the United States, I believe they close to a 2015 nuclear revival of the nuclear deal. But, you know, uh, Bennett... I think uh, the new prime minister, Bennett Nataviv, uh, he said, said in a statement, uh, he's still kind of skept skeptical and still kind of uh, worry about, you know, Iran is still going to create that uh, enrichment nuclear capability as well, too, even if they do come to possible 
into the terms of a revival of the 2015 nuclear deal, you know. So those tensions are still escalating between these two nations of people, you know. And I'm going to bring that scripture out, you know, in regards to the nations that rise against nations and the wars and rulings of wars. So in the last days, it's going to only to increase, you know. And this is the book of, uh, where we start at six. Right, and this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And it reads through the scriptures. And ye shall have wars and rumors of wars, that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, right? Because the end is not yet. Because you got the MLTB, it's going to come into full effect, right along with the uh, World War III, which is in the book of Revelations 11 and 14, because we are definitely living in the increase of the book of Revelations as well, too. Like uh, the second world was passed, we hope the third world coming quickly, and we are seeing signs of that as these things to increase of these nations going against one another, you know. And verse seven, for nations shall rise against nations, like I mentioned before, the nations and the kingdoms going against one another, and there shall be famines. It's going to be increase of famines, food shortages, hyperinflation gas prices and all that pestilence new diseases uh diseases that make a combat and new type of form of the pestilence diseases well too and earthquakes in diverse places right we're going to see the earthquakes in diverse places a high increase of magnitudes of earthquakes in diverse places around the world you're going to see that as well too increase in the last days you know because 2022 been a year of so far of turning up Yao Bashim Al Shai is turning up on things, you know. In Matthew 24 and 8, and all these, the beginning of sorrows, right? Because we are in the beginning stages of the beginning of sorrows. You know, we are getting close to that point, and we're seeing it right now, you know. Especially with the current situation with the Ukraine. You know, two million refugees have to leave their own country because they've been blown away, <laughs> you know airstrikes, you know, uh, foot soldier killings, uh, shelling, bombings, and everything, you know. You know, these are uh, indications and examples of uh, the beginning of sorrows, you know, in the love of many wax and coal, upwards of people, and many more different things in those different categories, you know. And these are the uh, but in the, these are the beginning stages of the beginning of sorrows because there are more to come. You know, that's why it says the end is not yet because more prophecies still going to need to be fulfilled. Even though we see in these wars, rumors of wars increasing throughout these other different nations going at it with one another, you know, around the world. But the end is not yet because that MOTB need to come into full effect right along with the uh, World War Three, you know which is imminent and it's coming very soon, you know. So, yeah, you know, this is all I wanted to bring out for this uh, quick sit-down lesson on this March 9th, uh, 2022, on this uh, Wednesday morning. So, you know, like I mentioned before, you know, it's going to, the uh, rumors of wars and, uh, right, the rumors of wars is definitely going to continue to increase in these last days, you know. So with that, you know, I hope this uh, quick sit-down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh El Shai. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, or Karkadash. Liberal honors to the elders, apostles, where it may known, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom.